What's going on guys? Grandpa's Treasure Shop back at it with another video. Today we have a profile for the infamous Value Turbo of 2010 Edison format. Uh, without further ado, let's just go hop right into the profile. So for starters, it wouldn't be a uh, value turbo if we didn't play a uh, value himself um yeah, this card is just like a staple in this deck <laughs> i mean you kind of have to it's just kind of how it works um, but also we do play a single copy of gale um the card is at one this format so i mean it's inevitable you kind of just have to play the one copy but um nonetheless value's a fun card to play with uh next we have um two copies of raiko the light sworn hunter um <clears throat> raiko is uh pretty good in this deck i also compliment raiko with um two copies of Lila as well. Um, it's pretty necessary if you're opting to play Charge of the Light Brigade. I do think Charge is pretty cool in this deck just because it allows you to mill, and this deck is a very graveyard-reliant type deck. So, um, yeah, those cards uh, actually fit the engine quite nice. Uh, but next, um, we have uh, more of the Blackwing cards. Uh, I do play a single copy of um, Raven. Um, my buddy Justin actually told me a while ago that I should play this card. Uh, this card, uh, some people argue that it's not necessary. I tested it out, and it does come up sometimes, but um, I don't know. It's not too bad. Uh, but next, we do have triple copy of Sirocco. It is uh, argued that if you're playing the Raven that you should just play two Sirocco. Hey, adjust it how you like. Uh, then, uh, next on the list, we gotta play, uh, the engine pieces, and the biggest engine, pseudo-engine pieces here, we have a double copy of Dark Greffer, and a two copy of Armageddon Knight. Now, these cards just help get the engine going, allowing you to dump darks into your graveyard, um, aka Vayu, um, but also playing Dark Arm Dragon in this deck kind of gives these cards a lot of value. Uh, next on the list, I guess we could just get into some of the bigger bodies of the deck. Um, so, for starters, I do play a copy of Tragodia. I do play a singular copy of Gores, the Emissary of Darkness, and then the limited, uh, this format, copy of Dark Magic, uh, Dark Arm Dragon. Uh, Dark Arm Dragon was dominating formats before this format was around. Uh, he definitely, there's a lot of decks just built around Dark Arm, and I uh, find it really necessary in this deck, especially since you manipulate the graveyard very easily. Uh, and then I do choose to play two copies of Caius, the Shadow Monarch. Honestly, when I think of Edison format, I think uh, Caius is one of the most underrated cards. Um, but then I do play a singular copy of Chaos Sorcerer. I think this card is just highly underrated. And me, coming from uh, retro formats myself, really see the value in uh, Chaos Sorcerer. Um, but I do play a singular copy of uh, Cyber Dragon. I, I like Cyber Dragon in this deck because uh, your opponent's not really expecting it, to be honest. And it's uh, another uh, light for uh, Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, it's not very hard to get lights in this graveyard, playing Charge of the Light Brigade with some of the Light Sworn cards. But um, yeah. And then the last of the monsters, um, I play one copy of Card Trooper. Card's just pretty good, and it just helps you maintain card advantage while dumping. Uh, and then we got a singular copy of Plague Spreader Zombie, as well as Necro Gardener. Uh, all of these just work hand-in-hand hand with one another. Necro Gardna, uh, it's just good for if you're, you know, pretty behind and you're trying to get caught up, and you might just need to see a Dark Ruffer Armageddon Knight to get started. Uh, but then, of course, Plague Spreader Zombie just allows for more Synchro-related plays, and then Card Trooper just allows you to maintain card advantage. And then, now on to the spell cards, we have a single copy of Allure of Darkness. Allure of Darkness is really good. It is now limited to one of this format. Uh, and then we got Reinforcements of the Army. It's basically an extra copy of Greffer Armageddon Knight. Whichever one benefits us most when we have this card, we can just uh, search the appropriate one. And then a uh, singular copy of Heavy Storm. Heavy Storm is really good this format, uh, especially since Royal Oppression is really prevalent. And so many back rows, such as Dimensional Prison, things like that. Uh, but as I mentioned, I do play a singular copy of Charge of the Light Brigade, and then another singular copy of Mind Control. I actually really like Mind Control this format. Uh, it's very underrated with Raikou being so prevalent, uh, but I also play a copy of Brain Control. I just think taking your opponent's monster this format is very powerful. If I'm being quite honest with you, I think Mind Control has more value this format than uh, Brain Control, but uh, I actually like them both for what they can do. Uh, next, I play uh, three copies of Upstart Goblin. This card just helps you to just get to your engine pieces quicker, it allows you to thin your deck, and thinning your deck in a slower format like this is kind of key, if I'm being honest with you. Giving your opponent life points don't really matter if you're trying to set up for an OTK. Uh, and then I do play uh, uh, two copies, actually, of, um, oop, I am so sorry, Royal Oppression, and then Torrental Tribute. Uh, Royal Oppression is very prevalent, this format. Uh, it's very good against so many decks. A lot of people think it's better in the side. It could be argued, depending on what deck you're playing. In Value Turbo, I play removal such as Heavy Storm um, and other cards that can kind of uh, deal with it if I'm trying to go for game. Uh, and then one copy of Solemn Judgment. Card is at one this format uh, for good reason, because Teledad format was just a little too broken when it was at three. And I do play two copies of Phoenix Wing Windblast. I find when this engine uh, gets off to a slow start, Wing Blast is just so high impactful in this format. Uh, another very underrated card, if you ask me. Um, but then uh, we're moving on to the extra deck. 
Uh, for the extra deck, we got to play the Black Wings. Uh, Black Wing Arm Wing. This card actually just kind of went up quite a bit in value. <clears throat> but yeah, Black Wing Arm Wing is uh, the easiest one to bring out, I should say, because you just use Sirocco and Bayou. Um, but I do play um, two copies of Blackwing Armor Master. Armor Master's nice. Um, might as well just throw in Goyo Guardian. He's at one this format. Too good not to play, though. Uh, Blackwing Armor Master, you don't really need three. I think just having more utility in your extra deck is pretty important. Um, but yeah, to each his own. Uh, I do play a singular copy of Brianak. Uh, Brio is also at one this format for good reason, because the old text is uh, a little too good. And then some of the standard staples of Edison format, we play Alley of Justice Cataster, and then Magical Android. I mean, these cards can come up with like Plague Spreader or, you know, Brain Control, cards like that that can help facilitate these, but you want to be able to have the option to be able to get rid of your opponent's card if you do. Uh, and then a beautiful singular copy of Black Rose Dragon. Uh, I do play a Dark End Dragon. I find in this deck, it is actually really powerful. Um, and then Thought Ruler Archfiend. Uh, whenever I do play Edison, this card unexpectedly comes up a lot more than I thought it ever would. Uh, Thought Ruler, I would say, out of the whole extra deck, aside from the common standard plays like the Blackwing Synchros, Thought Ruler Archfiend is like the MVP, if you ask me. Dark End Dragon comes up quite a bit too. And then we do play a uh, Colossal Fighter and Stardust Dragon. Stardust is, uh, he's all right. He kind of gets a little bit worse over time, but um, I, I like it, honestly. Uh, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Uh, this card is really good, especially with the rise of machine decks getting better. Uh, I think it's necessary to include. Now for the extra deck, I do play uh, two additional copies of uh, Cyber Dragon. Um, Cyber Dragon is, it just kind of, it's really good. It's a free summon and just helps you to just kind of beat down your opponent, really. Uh, but along with that, I got to just throw in like a singular copy of DD Crow. I honestly would say DD Crow is like the MVP. Um, I really kind of just want to up it, but I really honestly just kind of like where my build's at. But it's debated in my mind that I want to play more Crow. Uh, I do play Snowman Eater. Snowman Eater is really good this format. You know, eats a lot of snow. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. I actually play three Snowman Eater, mainly because uh, if you're going first in this format, this card is just, it covers so many matchups. It's really good, and um, you know, if they are playing like a slower deck where they might have to set up or set Raikou, right this card just deals with it directly. It's good removal. Uh, and then a singular copy of Phantom of Chaos. Some people would question why do we play this, but if you really think about it, Phantom of Chaos, since I'm opting to play Chaos Sorcerer, Dark Arm Dragon, um, Trigodia is another good applicable use for Phantom of Chaos. Um, it, it, it can come up quite a bit, especially if you mill your Dark Arm Dragon, since I am playing cards like Charge of the Light Brigade. Um, they all just kind of go hand in hand, really. Um, but yeah, now I'm, I'm a little degenerate, so I do play three copies of Deck Devastation Virus. I find uh, this format, since Crush Card is banned, Deck Devi kind of uh, does the same thing, if I'm being honest. It just kind of uh, hits a lot of decks, this format, and it's just very high impactful. That can just auto win you some games. And then a singular copy of Trap Dust Shoot. This card is at one, this format. Um, yeah, this card's just too good not to play in the side for when you're going first. But yeah, no, thank you all for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below if you like this uh, deck profile. I will have this deck available if you want to snatch it from me. Uh, link down below in the description. And um, without further ado, you know, this is Grandpa's Treasure Shop signing out.